guys this is astronax and this is my europe account my third account golem 10 this is uh day 10 on the europe server and i'm a free to play player this is my team i've been farming wyvern 10 it's just easier with this setup to begin with and uh, carmen rose she's six starred i've got five six stars so far and the progression i mean it's going really well hit legend rank one in arena got a bunch of uh, sky stones out of uh, promotion rewards on top of all the other rewards that give us sky, uh, sky stones in the game reputation uh, adventure side quests and like the uh, arena promotion reward that's that is a ton of sky stones so carmen rose she's part of my core four man setup that i want to use for uh, golem 11 so it's Kanakates, those are my selective summon, uh, the heroes I went with to begin. Uh, that was my plan, Akates before selective summon, then I got Ken, lucked out, took like 10 hours. Anyways, Chaos Egg Axe, my uh, Church of Ariel's Axe was my first Moonlight summon. And I mean, it, it was totally worth building him using Chaos Egg Axe in... I mean, Hunts, Wyvern 10, he's part of the team. Golem 10, yes, but not for 11. It's not gonna work out. Uh, I'm gonna replace him with Mascot Hazel, much better. I need some more sustain in the team. Akatis is not enough uh, to begin with. And I need, a full, I need a full team of fire heroes. It's so much easier to handle the Golem that way. And uh, the unhealable debuff is definitely gonna help. Uh, it's gonna help me. I mean, it's gonna speed up the run. Unfortunately, the uh, the tree removes debuffs. So I mean, you can use uh, Kyrus for Golem 10, but then at 11, your poison uh, debuffs keep on getting removed. They can tick here and there, but the Golem is so slow, and the tree is like just removing them. Uh, like quite often especially if you reduce the combat readiness of the golem and you apply speed down debuff he is very very slow compared to the tree and it just doesn't work out uh, Kyrus um, will also take more damage because she's not fire so there's that and I'm really digging a Katis plus, plus Ken it's it's a super strong start most players they are going for the uh, the cleave setup they're going for Vildred and uh, Angelica it's just I wanted to farm Golem I want to get my heroes tanky in PvP I prefer to have a uh, turn 2 team I just survive the initial damage and I start taking out uh, heroes one by one it's just I feel like that's uh, a better approach considering ML Bell it's part of the meta and Speed is, I mean, it's its too hard to keep up with the uh, players that spend money and they're farming hunts so much more than a free-to-play player will. Now I can just farm like crazy because I have a bunch of Sky Stones because we get so much Sky Stones at the start. Uh, if you don't get promotion rewards from the arena, you still have a ton of Sky Stones. You can play. It really depends on how many hours you're putting in in a day. But uh, my progression now after 20 days, I mean, I've been spending like 16 like 14 to 16 hours per day playing uh, i mean 16 is probably the, the right number i mean some days it's been 18 hours of uh, of play time okay i got a potentially amazing weapon epic oh my god oh, are you kidding me look at this drop baby Oh my god, so this run took uh, just a bit over 4 minutes, it's not so bad, but look at this drop. God, max crit, crit damage was 1 from perfect, health goes up to 8%, attack is perfect. That is nuts. Chaos Sekax deals so much damage. I need Carmen Rose, yeah, she deals damage, but she uh, cripples the boss, that's a huge thing. Uh, let's do another run. It can fail. I mean, this group can fail. Carmen Rose, she is quite squishy. Her survival stats are 
not where I want them to be. She's using the Adventurous Path uh, level 55 epic destruction set with the level 55 uh, um, the ring, the epic level 55 ring, but the necklace, she's is using a heroic one with crit chance on it because the one from the adventurous pad gives attack percentage and that's not a good thing. I think I think the other one came out of the labyrinth. I could be wrong though. Can't, can't pinpoint exactly where I got it. I'll show my gear at the end of the video, but Chaos like Axe, he's got some, I mean, I have some heavy Molagora investment into him. I use this uh, this team, or like I don't use uh, Carmen Rose outside of uh, Golem uh, runs, but this team it's Cecilia in the front line instead. It's my team for arena for defense. It's for my arena offense. It's what I use for um, the abyss. So far, I'm at floor what is it 60 now. And of course, when I hit the floor with Sez, that's where I'm going to be stuck for a while until I build a roster of heroes that uh, don't apply debuffs, or at least I, I don't. I can use one of their skills that don't apply debuff. I can't remember exactly how the fight goes, but I believe if you apply debuffs, he just uh, heal himself. So that is definitely unfortunate. Uh, that that's really like some kind of wall they have in there in the abyss that block a lot of uh, players if they are heavily relying on Kyrus, let's say. But yeah, in Golem, uh, with 70% effect resistance, you want 55% effectiveness to uh, counter. There's only there's always 15% you cannot counter. I have that on Carmen Rose, I have that on... A Chaos Psychax is actually quite low in, in the effectiveness department. Ken's at like 45, something like that. I caught this, I don't even remember, but yeah, I'll show my gear at the end of the video. Carmen Rose, she increased the survival of the group because she can remove buffs. She did that, uh, like, the turn before. And, uh, yeah, she applies speed down, but that's not uh, the biggest thing. It's really removing debuff, applying uh, defense buff and attack buff, of course, on herself, is, uh, is increasing her survival. That is good. Uh, I skilled her up for reducing the turn cooldown on skill 3. I'm working on the skill 2 so she can reduce combat readiness of the golem more often. Uh, as you can see, she is the one that takes the most damage. Uh, can actually swap his boots. He's got health percentage boots now. He uh, lost some crit chance, some crit damage. and uh, But I, I want him more tanky for arena. And I mean, he's definitely a hero that you want with a bunch of health. He's a bruiser. He, he's top tier uh, in that role and he brings some uh, great uh, great debuffs defense down attack down debuff and uh, he can stun with skill 3 that doesn't apply for golem though and he can get speed buff on himself it, it's a crazy hero crazy hero he scales off mostly health uh, some attack Akates uh, heals based on her max health she removed debuff and then she heals. That's huge team heal on S3 skill 2 applies invul invulnerability plus heals. That is super helpful in a lot of places, especially like when I have my Sicilian in the front line and whoever you have in your front line is taking the damage most of the time because that's how the AI works. They're sometimes just attacking the, the front line and even if you apply uh, immortality to the front hero, they will be attacking that hero because that's just the way uh, it works sometimes and if I can like provoke and have immortality on her that's another big plus now you can see current rolls getting much lower uh, chaos Psychics as a dark hero is definitely uh, not not the ideal hero in here so yeah I mean he's dealing a ton of damage because of the skill ups he has and the gear that he has on uh, that, that's why I want to replace him with uh, Hazel, much easier to gear for because, I mean, more uh, healing. Uh, Akatis by herself, she just can't keep up. And the attack buff, it will be helpful. And also the greater attack buff because of Mascot Hazel, that's definitely going to be helpful. High chance to apply on healable debuff with skill 1 because I'm work uh, I have that powered up in her skill tree. I'm working on her skill tree right now i need to six star her next she doesn't need to be six star for golem 11 but uh she will need less gear which is good so that's why i'm gonna six star her and running adventure now is just so much better than uh, what it used to be especially with the uh, goblin chamber you can get some amazing jewelry some of these uh jewelry you get in there uh, could have taken hundreds of runs in uh, whatever hunt you're farming 
and I mean it's it's amazing it's amazing and you always need materials to enhance the gear that you get in the hunt so you gotta balance your, your your runs and also like you can with the hunts you run a bunch get some gold you get some crafting materials so uh, after that you, you got a couple pieces in all uh, slots beside the jewelry that you can start enhancing and to do that i mean the best way is to just farm adventure work on getting your callus at the same time you're getting a bunch of uh, materials that you use to enhance your uh you, items that you feel like are going to be part of your team items that you feel like are uh just like yeah worth enhancing they have good substats maybe they have all their substats might be useful for whoever is going to carry that item and that's a major plus those items are like that's like top tier uh, kind of items because anytime you're going to roll that 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, you know it's going to land in something you, you can use. But of course, it comes down to how much, how high it's going to roll uh, and hopefully you get lucky in there. But uh, that's how it goes in this game. You can't always roll a perfect gear. And that's what keeps things interesting. And that's why there's like that infinite grind going. And by the time you cannot have, you'll never have perfect gear in this game. And it, it's always something that I really love because Mascot Hazel is definitely not where I want her to be. But I got this skilled up already because I wanted to do it, just get it out of the uh, get it out of out, out of the way before I invest Molagoras into other heroes. And I kind of forget about her, and I'm like, oops, I forgot her. But at least that is covered. Uh, definitely need a bunch of health. She doesn't scale off of her max health when she heals, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, proportional to the target's max health and caster attack. Uh, if the uh, target's max health, that's huge. That's huge. But when she heals herself, of course, if she doesn't have. Uh, I mean, you gotta balance your stats really. But if defense down is on your group most of the time, or even part of the time, uh, health is more uh is stronger than defense on your golem team so that's one thing you have to uh, remember but you still want to balance your stats if you have a katas um that is uh, that's a huge plus plus she's gonna remove debuff you could have uh one just potion vial to remove debuff uh, but yeah here's the gear stats and gear life steal on ken unfortunately i have to run attack percentage ring on him for now uh, if I could get uh, life steal health percentage ring, that would be a major plus. I would definitely use that because he mostly scales off of his max health. But he applies burn and all his attack uh, work with uh, his attack as well, but mostly based on his max health. I mean, he's so strong in so many areas. I had to get him from Selective Summon. My main account, I don't have Ken. I wish I had him. Uh, it could take forever for you to get a can uh, especially as a free-to-play player so i just wanted to get him straight off the bat lucked out on cecilia i mean definitely lucked out there from that free five-star summoning ticket we all got or hopefully you got it uh if you didn't that that's really unfortunate but i mean you'll get you'll get five-star heroes natural five-star heroes later down the line it's no big deal uh, katis she doesn't have enough health that it's okay, but I definitely need more health on her so she can heal the group for more. But uh, with like I kind of balance her stat in terms of health and defense. I lucked out on this ring from the secret shop, and man, man oh man, like those sub stats. I was surprised every time like getting something that I can actually use like that effect resistance and health percentage, like kind of caught me off guard. But that that's that's huge. And uh, 7 speed, that's quite good this early on. Still a plus 15 enhanced roll to get. This is actually quite helpful. I mean, reduced damage received. So that's good. And Chaos Ekax, he is wearing the item level 70. Adventures pad gear. And they actually rolled with a lot of uh, crit damage. The stats are actually quite good. And there is quite a bit of health and some defense. I mean, I believe, yeah, some health. A lot of health and a bit of defense uh, throughout this uh, gear set and that's actually quite good because I want him to have more survival. I would like to replace this ring with health percentage so I can up his survival but it already has like 14% health and 13% defense. Maybe it's gonna be uh, boots with health percentage main stat 
on the attack set that I'm gonna replace these with because I want him to be more uh, tanky. If I use him in arena, I don't want him to be sniped and I don't want him to be the weak link in my team. Uh, I mean, if, you don't, if you're dead, you're not dealing any damage. And this is the item level 55 gear. It doesn't have enough survival, but the offensive stats are quite ridiculous and a bunch of effectiveness too. So it works out beautifully on her. Uh, even as a six star, she is uh, too squishy. Uh, she does apply defense buff on herself when she doesn't have it. That's where things can get uh, hairy But so far so good um, Yeah, the runs are pretty reliable. It's a destruction set. I don't farm for it. So uh, I cannot really replace these four pieces Which is unfortunate. I could replace the ring with like health percentage, but it, it rolled so well it rolled so well uh, as an item level 55 unfortunately the main stats not that high because it's it's low item level but still like quite good gear uh, from adventurous pad this net can't pinpoint sorry guys where i got it probably uh, the labyrinth I, it might have been from uh, one of the gold chests in the labyrinth so yeah that's where i'm at in term of progression i i'm moving from wyvern and to golem uh from wyvern 10 to golem 10 now and I'll just get, like I said, Hazel to 6 star, get her better gear, and then I'll have my Hazel, Carmen Rose, Kenakatis, 4 man core for Golem 11. And here are the crafting materials that I have. So there's a lot of craft that I can do uh, from the Wyvern gear. For Golem, I don't have enough, but that is the next uh, gear that I want to craft. But I'll make a video crafting Wyvern gear because I actually need some piece to enhance when I'm farming adventure to six star hazel and uh, yeah that's 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 one of the uh, next videos that I'm gonna be making but I believe the next one is gonna be I'll be summoning I'll be summoning I completed the uh, from the abyss I actually got there it is so floor 60 I believe was uh, four gold transmit stone No, it was 59. So yeah, that brought me to six. So that's gonna be Moonlight Summon number four. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next video. So thanks for watching guys. I'm Astronox, like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon for like to be notified whenever I release a new video and check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts, Arena, Guild Wars, Guides, Sips and Outos and Abyss Floor 62 plus. So check those out if you haven't. And also Europe Progression Guide with uh, 50 plus tips. It's there's a reroll guide video in that playlist and you can check under my channel under playlist and There's uh, four tips videos for like uh, Basically, that's how like all the tips that I give you guys is what I just use on a like daily basis and stuff like that uh, On that Europe server how I got to that uh, 20 day progression and just quickly here The reputation memory chain you can see day number 20 total logins so that's that's where i'm at in terms of progression and uh, yeah it's going really well but i i'm i'm putting the hours in like <laughs> i i'm playing a ton so you have to remember that if you're wondering like how much like how are you progressing that fast it's just because i put the hours in and i things are planned like i it's just like that that's how i play the game and i have a lot of practice and knowledge from uh my past experience, this is my third account, so there's that. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Good luck with all you do in the game. Peace out for now.